guys, good morning and welcome to 2020, season Whee! two. This is our first episode in the new year. Uh, we hope that you guys all had a great holiday season, got to take some time off, spend some time with friends and family, yeah. probably consume way too much food and drink and everything yeah. in between. I know I did. <laughs> we were just discussing <laughs> how we're, our bodies are a little bit in shock as we're trying to... <laughs> a little bit extra around the waist here. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just going to do a quick little welcome to the new year and let you know what's going on. Yeah. Um, oh, to recap, so we had our third and final Christmas sweater challenge video before the holidays. Yeah, it's January now, but it yeah. was Christmas then. It was. No. Um, I took the win on that one, <laughs> which gave me two out of three. Yes. Which Congrats. means, yes, Tyson had to do the Casarda drill in the snow. Which we did this morning. Twas fun. <laughs> Twas fun. I was uh, a wee bit sweaty at the end of it. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. It was like what minus like eighteen out there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a a minus eighteen with a chilly slight wind. wind. <laughs> So yeah, we'll definitely show you some footage of that. Um, just wanted to thank you all for taking part in that. It was a lot of fun for us. Yeah. Um, the winner of the third uh, challenge was Graham Ward from Instagram. Graham Ward or Graham Ward? Graham Ward. Well, like Graham Cracker Ward or like <laughs> Graham Cracker Ward? <laughs> some things haven't changed. <laughs> if you want to shout out. Get... <laughs> so, new year, new me. <laughs> So yeah, great Ward, if you want to send us an email, uh, we can get a $25 gift certificate out to you for voting. Yeah, no, that'd be awesome. Um, so, since our last episode, uh, season one, wow, <laughs> what's been going on at Wolverine? Uh, yeah, I didn't do that, sorry. It's been a while since we made a video, in case you can't tell. Yeah. We're a little rusty. Sorry. A little bit. We took a nice little uh, two weeks about it. We had Christmas and the New Year's. And what did you do for New Year's? I don't want to say. Because <laughs> you did nothing. I didn't do anything. I was pretty sure I was sleeping by 10 30. Yeah. <laughs> Not even like embarrassed about it. That's just what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, Jan it's now January 2020. Uh, Shot Show's coming up. Uh, that always happens January every year again in Vegas. So. That's always an exciting trip we take, and a lot of new things come out around SHOT Show, so if you see anything, you know, kind of cool and interesting, let us know so we can go check it out at the show, give you a little bit more info, or if there's something you think is actually missing in our lovely little Canadian market, again, let us know so we can actually actively hunt for whatever you're after. Yeah, so. it's a perfect opportunity to go check out a bunch of new stuff. Yep. Yeah, we're there scouring the floors, so yeah. let us know. Um, there's always tons of different things that we, I have tried years and for years to actually have like videos and pictures while we're there, but I'm usually busy. Mm -hmm. I think next year we have to drag you there just for that. Well, maybe. That'd be fun. It'd be good. We'll see. Yeah. But, uh, so keep an eye on all of our different, uh, like social media platforms. We're going to be going over a couple, uh, different launches and things like that. I know there's been a couple already, uh, company Trigicon Optics, they just released an entire new series and lineup of uh, different optics, a rangefinder that's actually super cool. It's got Doppler radar in it. Super cool. Super cool. There <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> First one of the year. <laughs> Anywho, it's got Doppler radar built into it so it can actually um, tell you uh, the wind within 500 yards so far. We don't have a lot of details on it. It just released it, but that's kind of the first that's of neat. its kind. So yeah. Yeah, lots of different always things coming out. Always emerging, always new things, oh, yeah. always evolving. Yeah. So there's probably going to be like 17 different like <laughs> polymer striker fired 9 mil pistols. It'll be awesome. <laughs> you know, reinvent that wheel again. For sure. So. Yeah. If you uh, see something, let us know. Definitely. And just keep an eye out on our social media and we'll try to keep you updated the best we can. Oh, yeah. Um, just wanted to do a quick highlight of a newer product to us. We've been carrying it for a while, but we just kind of got it up on the website. Um, Thermowave. Boom. It's a European made kind of a base layer line of clothing. Yeah. So most of the stuff we have in stock right now is geared toward keeping you warm. It's winter. Um, yeah. It's Canada. <laughs> it's Canada. It's cold. Like it's like eight months, months out of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so excellent for any outdoor activities. Um, it's body temperature regulating. Yeah. So it keeps you cool if you're overheated. It keeps you warm, but not too warm. Adjusts to the temperature, that yeah. sort of thing. Keeps was you... wearing it this morning. Yes, he was while he was doing the Casarda job. <laughs> 
Um, keeps you dry, it's breathable, it's very soft. Uh, what else we got? I think that's basically a wind, wind resistant, water repellent. Um, comes in a few different styles. We have all the upper, like the shirts up here, but we also have like long underwear. Bottoms. We got the uppers, we got the downers. It's <laughs> the great. <lowers. laughs> There's some headwear, some gloves. Oh, yeah. You've got beanies, train beanies, which is not for like when you join, a, like you board a train. It's not for that. It's like when you're training. There's bell clavas. There's, uh, what do you call the ones? It's just your neck. It's shoots. Oh. Uh, is, it is that shoots? what they call it? I think they think do call a shoot. it a shoot. Yeah. I like, called it a tube. Tube. But I shoot. think it's a shoot. There's a cylindrical thing you put on your <laughs> neck. It keeps you warm. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> yes. Anyway, it's a really awesome product. Um, if you're in the area, we have a bunch of it on display. So yeah. come get your hands on it. Um, yeah. You have some. I think most yeah. of the staff has invested in some of it as it's just... It's, it's reasonably really priced. Yeah. It's decent quality. You know, it's, it doesn't have a the Under Armour logo on it. So it's not like super name brand, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's way, way more um, prevalent in uh, like the European yeah. market. Just really hasn't come across uh, over here yet. It's excellent quality, guys. Oh, yeah. I fantastic. enjoy wearing it. I've got my eye on this one actually right now. So <laughs> I'm currently in a no spend January, but that might go out the window yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, most of it has made its way online. Yeah. Um, most of the pictures that I was able to access are up and a bunch of the long descriptions. So if you're looking for any info, you can check it out on the website. Otherwise, give us a call and yeah. we'll be happy to uh, give you some more information on it. Yep. Okay. This... Kassara drill. <laughs> okay. It was horrible. I have gained so much weight over the oh, holiday please. season. I didn't exercise. All I did was eat and drink and like I didn't do a lot of movement. <laughs> I think it might have been a combination maybe of that but more so with like the snow that you're trudging through and the giant the biggest probably pair of winter boots you could have brought. I forget. So I have a, like a really nice pair of uh like just got them real nice. They're not really combat boots but kind of hiking-ish style insulated boots. Uh forgot them at home. I had a spare pair in my truck of these like Sorel monstrous booted like snow boots. So that's what I wore. The boot is the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely slowed me down a little bit, but uh, no, it was a lot of fun and it's all, it's really cool actually doing it in the snow because you know you, your rifle goes into the snow, safety on, dump it, and then throw it, and then you gotta get the snow off of it so you can take your next shot. It was a lot of fun. It's actually. Uh, drip drying in the uh, in the kitchen sink here, yeah. so the staff has to work around that while they're getting the lunches ready. Whatever. Yeah, there was a couple of people that came back to his desk after we were out there. They kept giving him crap about cleaning his dishes up, and I wasn't really sure what they were talking about. But he has his AR taken apart in the kitchen sink, so it, it was dripping everywhere. It's the perfect place for it. Just one of those moments you like to think. This is something that not everybody deals with every day. Yeah. <laughs> it seems normal to us. But... There's an AR drip drying in the sink in the kitchen. That's fine. <laughs> totally fine. I don't even worry about it. No, it wasn't bad. I was very warm. Like we were, I was wearing the thermal wave under my sweater, which was a little bit too much because if you recall when I wore the kitten sweater or the kitty sweater, it was super heavy. And it's also probably not breathable. So... It is not. No, no. That <laughs> was also... trapping everything inside. That stayed in. <laughs> So I loaded up the, the chest rig with all my armor and everything, put on some thermal wave, and I was wearing that cat sweater, which just weighed me down. <laughs> and so, restricted your movement. Oh yeah, I was kind of <laughs> Plus the weight vest. And the weight vest. So yeah. I was weighted down, out of shape, <laughs> wearing way too much Plus gear. you were sad because you lost. I, well, yeah. I'm not going to go into this giggling. <laughs> you were supposed to do it anyway. I know, but I'm a weenie and I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm a weenie. <laughs> No, but it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely gonna incorporate that in every match we can now, so. Yeah, okay, well, thanks for watching our first episode of 2020, and we hope that you guys stay tuned for the rest of the year. Yeah, let us know what you wanna see in 2020 season two. Is my stepfather still alive? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a what a twist. Uh, I don't even Is he your father too? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thanks guys and we'll see you next week. Alright, don't forget about us. <laughs> <laughs>